Today on Drawing with Molly, we're going to draw a leprechaun. When we draw, we are going to use a couple tools. You'll need a piece of paper. You'll need a pencil. I usually use a mechanical pencil, but you can use whichever pencil you can find. You'll need an eraser. I use this one because um, sometimes I wear this one down too much from making too many mistakes, and that's okay. And you'll also need something to color with um, crayons. I just happen to grab colored pencils, so I have colored pencils here. So I like to draw in shapes. That's how I learned to draw. So if you can draw a square, you can turn it into uh, a leprechaun. If you can draw a, um, a rectangle, you can draw it into, uh, turn it into the leprechaun's hat. So we're going to start by drawing the leprechaun's hat. So you'll need to draw a long rectangle. Don't press too hard because sometimes when we do need to erase, um, you'll need to, um, you don't want to try to erase something you pressed really hard on. So that's the brim of the leprechaun's hat. Then I'm going to draw another, more like a square, going up. There's the top. And leprechauns have like a buckle on their hat, so draw a square in the middle. And inside that buckle, draw another square. Now something holds on the buckle. You need a ribbon that goes across. So we're going to draw two lines from the buckle to the edge. And another one. Two lines there. See how it turned into a ribbon? You keep them the same distance apart, going in the same direction. And pretend the ribbon goes all the way across. But don't draw through the buckle because the ribbon goes behind the buckle. So we pretend it goes all the way across and we start where it would come out and stop at the hat. And then we do the same for the bottom part of the ribbon and go across. So there's that. All right, let's draw the leprechaun's face. I'm going to draw part of an oval, but remember part of his head is going to be inside the hat. So we're going to imagine that. We don't have to draw that. So I'm going to imagine that part is in the hat and the, that part of the oval is inside the hat. And then I'm just going to draw an oval completing the rest of his face. Now I kind of, you know, when you draw you're not perfect and that's okay. I kind of, you know, made his chin a little pointy there and that's okay. So let's see. He needs some ears. When you draw ears, just draw like a C backwards or on this side, make a C. All right. Eyes are my favorite because you can choose whichever way you want your eyes to look. And I'll show you on a blank piece of paper. You can make the eyes just look kind of like that. Or you can draw little ovals and have the eyes looking down. You can draw ovals and have eyelids and have them looking this way. So you get to choose the way you want your leprechaun's eyes to look. I think I'm gonna have one, I think he's gonna be looking off to the side because he's making sure nobody's touching his pot of gold. So I'm gonna draw two ovals right there. And then I'm going to draw him looking that way, just making sure nobody's touching his pot of gold. All right, now, noses are the same. I like drawing noses. You can draw a nose that looks like a hook. You can draw a nose that looks like an oval. You can draw a nose that looks like a triangle. I kind of think leprechauns, I don't know, I always think that they have, like, funny-looking noses like that. For the mouth, you can draw a smile with two dimples. You can draw like a crooked smile. Um, or if you want it to be like an open mouth smile, you can draw a crooked smile that looks like that. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the dimple first. And then I'm going to draw just a kind of crooked smile. But he's got his mouth open a little bit, and his mouth is open on the side. So I'm going to start here and then just open his mouth up a little bit. 
And in fact, you know what? That's why I use my eraser. I'm not quite happy with the way that looks. And if at any time you need to fix something, just pause the video and fix it. Maybe I'll start here. Oh, that looks better. There you go. Okay, there's his face. Now, he's got curly hair. I always think leprechauns have curly hair, so I'm going to draw some clouds on that side. And it's not just behind his head. I mean, the, his hair goes this way, so he's got clouds on that side. And then same thing, he's got clouds on that side and clouds on that side. That's his curly hair, and the rest is under his hat. Do you see this line right here and there? You can't see that for anybody. So I'm going to take my eraser, and I'm going to erase that little line right there and right there. And if I accidentally erase some of his hair, I can fill it back in. See how that looks better? Now, he's got a beard too. So we're going to start here and we're going to do some curly beard right there along his chin. See how now it doesn't matter if his chin is pointy. And then it's up to you. You can make the beard as long as you want. I'm going to make the beard about there and about there. And see that line? That's what we're going to erase. So that pointy chin is going to go away. There. And it's okay, you can still see my line a little bit. That's okay. Okay, we need to give him a leprechaun suit. He's going to wear a snazzy suit. So draw a rectangle going down and back up. And again, pretend the top is there. Okay, now he's got a sleeve. You're going to draw part of a rectangle there. And over here, you're going to draw part of a rectangle there. And let's give him some hands. Here's his wrist. And I'm just going to pretend he's got like leprechaun gloves on. So draw a thumb, like a little thumb there, and then a mitten. See how it's just shapes? There's his wrist, two lines, half oval. I want a big half oval. And let's give him his pants, two lines and two lines. There's two rectangles. And for his shoes, I'm going to draw leprechaun shoes. I'm going to draw a curve and go across and a curve and go across. Now, he's got a buckle on his belt, too. So just like the hat, draw a square, and then inside draw another square, and draw your two lines going across for the ribbon, and then your two lines going across again, just like we did for the hat. Now, I think I'm going to put a line going down. I'm going to curve it a little bit. Oh, do you notice this too? We need to erase that, don't we? So let's erase that line from his clothes so all you see are his sleeves. See how much better it looks? Now that line going down, it kind of reminds me of Santa's suit, but we're going to make it a little bit more snazzy. I'm going to draw three buttons. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to want to color those buttons, so I'm just going to draw three little circles that I can add color to. I don't want them black. I think I might want them gold. Now, if you've got room, I didn't really leave room. You could draw a bow here. So, let's see. Maybe I can make his beard a little less long. Maybe I can go here like this. Make his beard a little shorter. And I can draw a nice bow tie here. Because he's a fancy dressing leprechaun. That looks good. Okay. Now, we need to draw his pot of gold that he's looking at. So I'm going to draw an oval and it's going to be down here on the ground and I'm not going to, I'm going to kind of think about how, what the size I want it to be. I don't want it to be floating in air over here. I want it here. So in fact, I'm going to draw the ground going across now that I know where his feet are. I always draw the ground after that way I know where his feet are. And you can even make some green grass there. You can even make a four-leaf clover here by drawing a stem and if it's 
if you can draw hearts really well, this is really easy. Draw a heart and a sideways heart and another sideways heart. If you need to move the paper to do that, like if I can draw a heart and then just move the paper and draw another heart. That's how I learned how to draw shamrocks. Okay, so here I'm gonna think about where I want the top of my um, pot of gold to go and I'm gonna draw an oval about that size. Real skinny oval. And then I want it to go here. So I'm going to just draw kind of like a big squashed circle, another oval, like that. Now I'm going to need to put some gold in there, but I'll have to erase this part. So erase the top part because you can't, that's the back of the pot of gold and you can't see it because I'm going to fill it with gold circles, just have them touching each other. Sometimes this one's behind, so you curve that one around. Just fill it with as many gold coins as you can. Okay. And so, every pot of gold needs a rainbow. Draw a line out, and then keep drawing lines that go in the same direction and that are the same space apart. And drawing rainbows looks easy, but it take practice. So I'm going to do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There's actually indigo in there, but I ran out of room. And then if you feel like it, you can draw a sun. I'm going to draw a sun. Actually, I'm going to draw a sun poking out from behind a cloud. There's my cloud, just like I drew the beard. And the sun is going to poke out from behind there. Oops, my pencil. And you can draw the rays of the sun. Either if you want to draw the sun like this, or I, I don't know, I always like the triangle rays like that. I just think it, I don't know, I just always liked it. And real sun, sometimes you can see the rays through the clouds, but not always. Okay, and there's our leprechaun with this pot of gold. Now I'm going to color and see I'll need green. I'm going to use a lot of colors here. Just dump them all out here. So it's easier to make a mess. Okay, so I'm going to start, I always like to kind of outline first for whatever reason if you outline what you're coloring then when you color it just helps me stay in the lines a lot better so I'm gonna color my rainbow There's red and then next is orange so I'm gonna outline it Orange. And yellow. I'm going to use the yellow a lot. Let's outline it. So I'm going to keep the yellow out before I move on to the green. Because um, I'm definitely going to need green. You know, leprechauns wear green clothes. So. Here is this, and I'm going to fill in all my gold coins while I've got the yellow. Since I'm holding it in my hand, I might as well think of all the yellow things I need to color. All my gold coins are now yellow. I'm going to color my sun. And you know what? I kind of like making suns orange and yellow because it's kind of like orangey yellow. And I, I don't know, I never really fill it in all the way because I just kind of like the way it looks. If you just kind of do this, it looks a lot more like fiery ball of gas from the sun, you know. So it's okay if you make the sun a little messy just because it's not perfect. You know, when you, well, of course you shouldn't look at the sun, but, um, you know, when you think of a sun, it's, it's, it's burning, so it's going to look like that. Okay, 
What else needs to be yellow? Oh, his, bu his buckle needs to be yellow. So I'm gonna draw the outside of his buckle. It's gonna be yellow here and here. Okay, done with yellow. Next is green. So keep the green out. You're gonna use green a lot. So there's that. And let's color in the green and the rainbow. And guess what? We've got a lot of green on our leprechaun. So his hat is green. Real quick though, let's grab a black. If any time I'm going too fast, you can pause the video so you can fill it in. See the ribbon? The ribbon's going to be black. And you can see the inside of the ribbon through the buckle. So let's color that black and down here so we don't accidentally color the... You can't see the belt if we color it green. It's green on top of green. Okay. So I'm going to outline his hat like this. It just helps me stay in the lines a little bit better. It's easier to with a crayon. And I'm going to color in his hat. He's wearing a green leprechaun top hat. Do you see how I'm coloring all in one direction, just going back and forth? That helps me not leave any of the white gaps. And I'm going to outline his. Oh, I forgot. He was going to have golden buttons, wasn't he? Grab the yellow. Hmm. If you want your leprechaun to have different color buttons, go for it. I haven't decided what color. I'm going to color my bow tie, so I'm going to color around it. His green suit on and color the bottom of his jacket here and his pants. If you want him to have different color shoes, you can. I think I'll have him wear black shoes. Oh, mitt his gloves. You know what? Let's take our pencil and draw like maybe from where his otherwise it looks like he's wearing his gloves are his hands. So I'm going to draw a line that just shows where he goes there. So I'm going to draw in my gloves. And what did I decide? His feet, his shoes are going to be black. There we go. Outline it and then color it in. Um, I'm going to go with a red bow tie. It's going to really pop out. Oh, because he's also going to have, while I've got the red, he's going to have kind of a reddish-orange beard. This one's like a really super red. And usually if you have red hair, it's a little bit different of a color. So I think I'll use maybe a darker red. Ugh. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to trace around. Yeah, I like that red for his beard. And if you don't have different color reds, if you push harder on it, it'll turn into a darker red. Or if you push lightly, it'll be a lighter red. And so I'm going to color in his hair. Like that. All right, now, oh, you know what? I forgot to color my shamrock, so... Doing any kind of drawing is just always going back and forth, back and forth. You don't always have to do the right all in one step. You can kind of go back and you know add some details. Now I put some grass here, so I'm going to just kind of make zigzags going across. And I can make zigzags under his feet too. And there's some grass underneath his gold pot. But it's down on the ground so much that it's smushing the grass down. So I don't want to draw any grass under there. Okay, where was I? Let's take that black, unless you have a gray, which I, oh, I do, I have a gray. If you don't have a gray, use black, but just color lightly. And let's just kind of fill in a cloud. You can also use a light blue. 
I'm going to just fill it in where it just kind of looks like this. I'm just going to draw in little circles because clouds are just lots of different colors. So I'm going to color in the, the cloud like that. All right, let's go back to our rainbow. What are we next? Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Oh, grab this blue. Let me trace it first. And then what I'll, I'll finish the pot of gold and I'll finish the details on his face. Green, blue, and purple. Mm, kind of a pink. This is purple. You think that's purple? Let's give it a try. Yeah, that'll work. Purple. A lot of times you don't know until you color it. So if you don't know, like take scrap paper and do a couple strokes back and forth just to see if it's the right color. Let's go ahead and take your black. I'm gonna watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trace, I'm gonna kind of push hard. I had to switch over to my phone because my iPad died. So okay, go ahead and trace hard around, or you know, when you're tracing it, push harder, and that'll stand out more. And then color in lightly. See how that makes you can still see the top of the thing? You can color around your gold coins. And then in here, go ahead and color in lightly. You know what, you can even do like, a, there's like a little, it's a shiny cauldron, so you can just draw like a little teardrop, kind of a pointy teardrop there, and it looks like it's shiny. And when you get over to it, don't color it in. Color around it. Last is his face. So I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to trace around his eye like that and his nose and then the outside of his mouth and then his face. I just like to give his face there. Okay, now um, choose your skin color. Oh, you know what? Let's let's give him let's give him blue eyes. I should have left that blank like I did the buttons. All right, choose your skin color. You can use any color you want. Make your leprechaun look the way you want to. Um, I and my color pencil set have lots of different skin tones that I could use. Uh, if you don't, if you want your leprechaun to have light skin and you don't have like a peachy kind of pencil, let me show you a trick. Um, you can take an orange and as long as you don't press hard, you won't turn him into an orange. But I'll just show you on this guy. But if you ever want to, you know, if you want to make your leprechaun um, have darker skin, you get to choose it as your leprechaun. I'll start with the wrists a little bit. Just color really lightly, like ever so lightly. Don't even push hard. And then look, see what happens? I'm barely pushing. I can barely feel the paper. And it gives him a light, like a peachy color. That's just a little trick I learned. Okay, now the last thing that you do, since this is your artwork, is you sign it. You write your name on it. So I'm going to write my name right here. This is Hull. And then I'm gonna draw a little signature heart. Okay, so you sign yours too. All right, I, I'd love to have you take a picture of your leprechaun and post it down below in the comments. I would love to be able to see how you did. Molly, what do you think? Did I do good? What do you think? Did you help me? Oh, <laughs> not a fan of the leprechaun. Oh well, try again tomorrow.